But this is going to be the hardest step of their Pokemon Unite careers thus far. Banning Outlet Glaceon, they know that God of Warriors have the first pick, so they don't want to give that over. But <laughs> she just put Say it over shit. the Zacian, just mess it around. As we know, that's the only Pokemon that's banned. Just a nod to the other completely busted Pokemon in the game <laughs> right now. But would be surprised if they don't at least pick... Yep, there it is. Cynthia, back on that slow bro. You can't let MXI have that one. It's a bit too strong. Yeah, you have to take that Slowbro away for MXI. We know once that Slowbro is in the hand of that man, you know, it's gonna be a disaster for God of Warrior. And right here, Talon is on their championship point once again. God of Warrior has no, could not make any mistake at this point in time anymore because one slip of the finger and, you know, that's it, right? Talon is definitely winning this $7.5,000 and they have a really good positioning into the regional, uh, regional finals. That is real, and that is scary business. Blank and Brown once again. The tag team duo of the Blastoise and the Urshifu secured, and looks like they might grab the Sylveon for themselves. So, the Glaceon now out of the picture. There still is the Dojo, which is interesting, because I thought God of Warriors would put an emphasis on that. They've, been, they've had no issue snapping that up for Kai so far, uh, but they seem to be waiting out on this one. Yep, Dram taking the Sylveon away from Snake. So, that actually... You know, that could put Snake in a weird position. What is he going to play next? And likely it's going to be that Chandelier. And Kai got his hand onto that Dodrio this time okay. around. So, right. yeah, so it's down to KY, KYY, right? Uh, you know, it's likely going to be a support player right here. It's definitely going to be going in for a support Pokemon. Is it going to be Talonflame? a Cafebo once again? Or even a Talonflame? But Mammoth Oh, nah, nope. nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Mammoth would be sick, dude. Mammoth's like definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. But mm -hmm. I think you gotta go with the try and test it, right? Kai, this is basically his second most favorite pick right after that Hoopa, which is banned out. So no surprises here. He's done great work with it thus far. Overall talent. They look well equipped to take this game number two and take the entire grand finals. But Snake, now playing up that chandelier, not really something they, they've, they've messed around with quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, the newest Pokemon on the playing field. Let's see what they can do with it. Yep, and you know, being a new Pokemon, you know, players have to find a little bit more time to actually figure out how this chandelier could be optimized or even, you know, should be played around with. So, you know, that, that chandelier have a little bit of an advantage, right? But we're talking about a pro player level right here. Players adapt really quickly, especially with in, in that 10 minute time frame. And you know, looking at talents team composition right here, uh, they look pretty solid to actually deal with what uh, God of Warriors could actually put onto the table against them. But slow bro, you know, those special de special defense drop with the, uh, and then stack together with the Mew and Chandelier as well, uh, that could actually pack a punch uh, towards talent. Yeah, I mean, I, I've said it at the start, at the very, mm -hmm. very start for when I first came on, 77 Chin. I'm sure this guy is an amazing player, way better than I could ever reach on my own, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely has the has the skill and the facilities necessary to get to this stage. But I just have yet to be convinced by his Mew. I would love to be proven wrong at this stage though, but I keep saying this, the Mew, a lot of work to be done. Now, it is a central area chandelier. We haven't really seen Snake play around with this just yet, so I'm interested to see what he can do. Yep, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is our championship point for Talon right here. While God of War have to fight two more wins to get their win right here in the Grand Finals reset. And it seems like a little interesting, right? I, I thought it's going to be a 3-1-1 uh, one, one composition right there. And the Liquid, you know, in, it, 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 it looks like a 3-1-1 one, one composition for God of War. Interesting. So yeah. they're sending the slow bro, or rather the slow poke in to mess with this Kung Fu. And I don't know whether it's necessarily a, a intended 3-1-1 or whether they're just like, hey, this guy's a Kung Fu. Mess with him, dog. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, you know that guy's weak early on. And this is where the Urshifu is really the, the struggles the most. The second he hits that level 5, which is in due time, he's going to be the one putting the hurt on you. So really, it's just about extending that time frame where you can still play a, a little bit more willy-nilly. And there we go. Urshifu, Brown, no surprises there. More than likely gonna be that surging strike. A rapid yep. strike style, yep. sorry. Yeah, rapid strike style. Yep, and, and you know, Brown, we're not seeing a red buff around him as well. So I believe the uh, slow bro actually stole the red buff away from Brown, right? That's why he's coming out of the central area, uh, being a cup fool himself as well. So Talon currently leading in terms of points, but God of Warrior's strategy seems to be a little bit different compared to what we have seen so far. And could this actually pay out dividend for, for God of Warriors? I actually like this coming out from God of Warriors. We noticed mm -hmm. as soon as they noticed Brown, or that level 5, 
uh, the rapid strike Urshifu. They just all evacuated. Take a look at the Lampard. He's just farming up the central area right now. The Dojo also quickly made his way out of there. They don't want to engage. They don't want to give this Brone Urshifu the rolling start that it has when it has been successful. So they're just avoiding, which I like this a lot. Because if you can tie through and you don't let the Urshifu snowball, you can really put the hurt on him later on in the game. Yeah, for sure. And you know, putting Lampen or the Chandelier in the central area right here. And that being that means that you know, God of Warriors let, really wants that Chandelier to be evolved as soon as possible so that it could cause as much chaos to God of Warrior. But however, on talent side of the field, the war total is only at level six. So it's just, we are not seeing any Blastoise anytime soon. But once that Blastoise goes online, you know, that is gonna be making a difference right there. Bro. MXI narrowly escaping with a sliver of HP there on that Trevenant. Would have loved to get that KO, but Instead, it's Brown who manages to finish off that poor Elder Goss. They're still holding their opponents at bay here, but four members on the side of Talon getting ready to secure this second set of birds. The Altaria and Swablu gonna quickly fall to them, but that's not if they get the Urshifu first. A nice little maneuver in this bot power as Blank dueling up against Kai. Not really a fight you can win, but God of Warriors actually getting the better of their opponents in this bot power fight. Yeah, for sure. And up in the top half as well, Mew get, on the bottom side, Mew gets 2k all by himself and Blank is being controlled by the Dodrio on the top side. Regirock right here. God of Warrior already got that positioning onto Regirock as Talon goes in trying to get that Regirock on himself. Ooh, nice actual pollen puff to save the day there. Maita now keeping his allies sustained. The Mew is gonna go down, but they managed to walk away with that Reggie and now forcing the Fairy Frolic as well. Snake needs to back off, can't stand strong against that Hyper Voice. And I mean, Snake is just starting to do so much damage on this chandelier. It's more than Talon can bear right now. Yeah, and that, that you know, putting all the eggs into the chandelier basket actually paid dividends for them, right? And in right here, he's already at level 9 as well. He's just doing so much damage, so much disruption towards Talon. And, you know, if those disabled could come on time, it could even freeze that Urshifu from doing anything in, and, and even catch it in a very bad position. Yeah, for now, they just are trying to push the issue in this bot tier 1 go zone. They are going to be able to crack it open, but the rest of the cavalry, Cloud of Warriors, they've arrived to the party. Now, they're all being lined up by this beautiful hammer, and MXI not going to get away with that one, but immediately, there's the Unite move coming out. Ooh. The Snake needs to back out. The Imprison is there, and they managed to clean up shop here. God of Warriors emerging victorious in that fight. Yeah, Talon literally had a really good fight right there against God of Warrior down in the bottom side, but God of Warrior managed to get the better hand out of them as well. As there you have in the bottom side as well, a little bit of scramble coming in, but Sylveon is just really low at this point in time. Yeah, God of Warriors now is starting to take control. I mean, it doesn't look like that point-wise, but it definitely feels a lot closer than the past two games we've seen now. I mean, God of Warriors... They gotta be feeling themselves a little bit. They gotta be sensing it. They, they, they got Brone in a bit of a rough spot. But has Brone Hydro got Typhoon. them? Hydro Typhoon knocking them up for now. They managed to get the Dojo. So opening up the goal zone. The Dunks coming through. But they more than likely are gonna get these return KOs. Brone now getting out of this one scot free. Yeah, it's probably okay for Talon right there. You know, the damage is done. They did score as much point as possible within that time frame that they need. 68 is a 258. They got the score advantage in terms of level-wise, it's pretty even at this point in time. But the Clefable is just a little bit behind compared to what God of Warrior could, provide, uh, could do. Oh, Blank being so annoying with that it's spin. But managing to delay them just in time for Dream to come up here and play interference as well. They want to get this dunk in, but they just can't. They're being held down. But now, it's the Sylveon's turn to get taken out. The Clefairy as well. Oh, the block. Oh. Coming out from the Waggle Wish. They're holding on for dear life to this goal zone. Even if Jack buttoning in, they actually don't manage to defend it. So the Mew gets the dunk but pays with his life again. The Mew has been KO'd on this top half twice now. That was a really good push that Goal Warriors did. That, like, you know, they literally level up on, in, in, on the chandelier as well. And right here, Talon, they really have to be really careful of the chandelier and Dodrio. They have to take them out first. If not, it's gonna be really difficult to deal with later on into the fight. And, and you know, but Baitang Lao is on that, that Elder Gods. It's not gonna be an easy task to get to them or even take them down that, that simply. Absolutely, and we talk about the Elder Gods. One Pokemon we didn't talk about that much this game is this Dojo. A very uncharacteristically quiet game from Kai this time round. Maybe just playing a bit more reserved, doesn't want to overextend too much. But we've used to seeing him really dominate the early to mid game. Hasn't really had the same success here thus far. But but it's okay, right? Like it's okay I think, that yeah, Dojo is so. not performing because he's 
he's funneling into that chandelier. His chandelier is 13 at this point in time, and it's obvious that what God of War is trying to do. Okay, I mean, I, I can agree mm -hmm. with that. I just, uh, you know, now Snake might be in some trouble. Forced to use that Unite move back the other way, just obscuring their vision just a little bit, and Blank forced to the turn tail and run. I mean, I don't mind this, like you said. It's definitely a funnel to the chandelier strat, but the dojo, I, I mean, he's just kind of been taking them for a little bit of a walk in the park yeah. so far, right? Yeah, for sure. But I mean, it's Kai on the Dodrio, right? Like, so probably like during the final stretch, like He's that's just where Dodrio could off. actually shine. Yeah, that, okay. that's where he actually could pop off. And you know, 50 more seconds on the clock. This Reggie Lecky, God of Warrior, doesn't seem like they're interested to actually contest this one. So, you know, they're all trying to funnel up and get ready for their final fight. 14 on that chandelier into the final stretch. That is one dangerous lantern to deal with. No, Moonboy, I get what you're saying. That was quite funny because it sounded like you're like his defense attorney or something. You're like, no, Kai, <laughs> Kai doesn't. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> Objection! Kai is being perfectly useful, okay? I, I don't know what this slander is. And I very much agree, right? I, I, I rescind my prior statement, sorry for the slander. Mm -hmm, um, I think mm -hmm. I, I think it's just compared to some of the previous games, you know, he definitely has topped off quite significantly in some of them, yep. and not so much in this one. But this game, he rec and it's a mark of a good player as well, right? The give and take. It's not always about you. Every player has different roles to play depending on the draft, and he's doing his one pretty well. Now, as we reach this final stretch, this could decide because Talon, they're one game away from taking back their first victory as an orc, their first championship in Pokemon Unite would be a huge milestone for not only these players reach Pokemon, it's been a while since they've seen mainstream success for this organization as well, but that's not if God of Warriors has something to say about it. They're looking for an opening with that serve. It'll all be on Cynthia to find an angle to make this happen. Here we go, as there we have, you know, both teams just staring down at each other as well. Rappy Spin coming off that Blast Toys. God of Warrior literally chased Talent away from the Legendary Spit. God of Warrior looking good in this position as well. 1 minute 20 seconds. This is all down to the timer right here because God of Warrior needs their Rayquaza or they need a team kill. They need to go. MXI might have just given it to them. Just getting KO'd. Kai forced to back away. Brone with the chase down. Not able to seal the deal. And they're just guarding the perimeter. And the bind is there. Brone oh, is the no. trouble. No, she pulls down. Is this the opening that they need? They still need to be wary of the time though. But for now, the team fight going the way of God of Warriors. Have they found the opening? Forcing Dreamt away. And straight onto the Rayquaza. Ray Ray is going the way way of God of Warriors right now. But do they have an opening talent? Back in the play. Back. No more United moves. They have their I go wish, but Rayquaza now at half HP. 77 Chin needs to get out. Poor little Mew, but the dual pack is there, keeping them away. Ray. The Rayquaza goes to God of Warriors. What a sweep in from Cynthia and holding them in place. Huge plays from this slow bro to turn it around, and they're heading straight for the dunks, Mooney. Wow, there's nothing much that Talon could do at this point in time. They literally had a really good position, but a slow beam onto Bro literally stopped whatever play that Talon was trying to do. MXI was down first, but he was back into the fight later on from respawn. But it's just not enough for them to close this off as we go as the timer counts down right here as God of War equalizes this once again and we're down to our final game for tonight ladies and gentlemen what an insane are you kidding me how does this keep happening we were talking so much about the final stretch we were saying you know this dojo he's gonna try something sneaky he flipped the script completely he stick with his team and I don't think they expected him to be there because dreamt you could tell he was feeling a little conflict that he was bouncing back between that top tier too. He was like, oh, surely the dojo's, uh, the dojo's gonna pop out any time now. But MXI, a bit of a loose strand of communication from the rest of the team, misses the memo. A very, very solid, stable player in that support tank role and a rare mistake 